Hey guys, it's Beth. Today I'll be using a Dollar Tree pizza pan and a stencil from Amazon. I started by taking the pizza pan and sanding down the entire thing. I took cottage white chalk paint and did two coats covering the entire pan. I used my heating tool to dry the paint completely. Once it was completely dry, I took this jumbo craft stick and use it as a guide to make some lines with about even spacing around the entire rim of the pizza pan. Next, I took black chalk paint and filled in every other set of those markings. And the black chalk paint is by Folk Art. Once they were filled in, I just used my heating tool to dry it completely. Next, I took this pixie spray and sprayed it on one side of the stencil and let that dry. It just helps adhere the stencil to your project to help prevent bleeding through of the paint. And the stencil I got at Amazon. And then I took the black chalk paint on a sponge with very minimal paint on the sponge and just sponged on the stencil. And then on the parts that were too close to the edge of the pizza pan, I just used a stencil brush to fill in those parts. And then I dried that completely. And then I made a messy bow and I was kind of debating on whether to do a bow or not, but I just thought it looked too plain. So I wanted to add a bow. I took two and a half inch wired ribbon from different places. Two of them were from Hobby Lobby and the other one I believe was from Walmart. I took the ribbons, pinched them in the center and then crisscrossed them back and forth in my hand, kind of in an X. Added in some white raffia, just about the middle of the bow in that raffia I get from Amazon. And then filled in the rest of the bow and then added some raffia on top. Once I had it filled in, I just took some black and white twine and wrapped it around the center where I was holding it and just pulled it nice and tight and wrapped it around once and then again in the back and tied it in a knot and cut off the excess. And then just fluffed it out, trimmed up the raffia and trimmed up the ribbons to get them about the same length. And then I flipped it over and added that same twine to the back with hot glue for the hanger. And then over where I had hot glued those down, I added some hot glue and a little piece of a ribbon and then trimmed up the excess twine. And then the last thing I did was added my bow. And that is it. I love how it turned out. Thank you guys so much for watching.